collectors, welcome to another video from Collector Quest. Today we'll be doing a simple how-to video on how to replace the eyes on your Glendale from Trick or Treat Studios. I like the eyes that he has out of the box, but I feel that they lack a little bit more realism to them. So I purchased this from a studio I found in Instagram from Fort Seal Studios, and I love them. They're very realistic. They have a lot of detail. The color is excellent. Uh, so I'll be leaving the information for that studio in the description below. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove his wig. And then once I remove his wig, I'm going to use this hot knife to cut a hole on the back of his skull so I can insert my hand and remove the existing eyes. Also, I'm going to use this electric knife to help me cut through a little bit better. So you guys, you're going to see me work and every now and then I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started and remove this wig. So I have removed the wig from his head. He looks pretty creepy without it, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, pretty interesting what they have done. They painted this area here brown, I guess, so that you don't see the color of the scalp through the wig. So, you know, good, nice touch. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a hole here on the back, probably five to six inches in diameter so that I can stick my hand and pull out the old uh, eyes and then put in the new eyes. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have finished cutting through the hole that I wanted to make. And now what I have to do is just open it up. So let's see, comes off pretty easy. I just used the hot knife that worked pretty well. Uh, here we have the cap that I'm gonna be using for later to close it back up. And let's look inside, wow. Pretty simple, no filling in there, uh, just more plastic. I'm assuming I have to remove these caps here to get access to the eyes. Uh, you guys see them there. So I'll probably have to remove those and then I'll be able to pop out those uh, existing eyes and replace them with the ones that I want. Let's continue. All right, so I have cut out a piece uh, that was covering the eye that's in there right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, as you guys see here, I can see the eye already. I'm gonna push that out. And there we go. Now I have one of his eyes that he came with. And let's see what we got on the front. We got him without an eye now. So it looks like I have to still cut out some plastic uh, in the inside so that I can fit this round eye through that socket. Um, so I'll be working on that. I'll just speed the camera through that and I'll show you guys um, also um, once I cut out the other eye as well. So I'll be right back. And now I got him to a point where I like the results that I got. I removed the plastic on the top of his head. I was able to stick my hand and remove the plastic that holds the old eyes inside. I removed that and then I was able to carve out the shape that, that I need to insert these round eyes inside of him. So now I'm able to do it. And it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So what I'm gonna do now is I need to repaint the eyeliner around his eye. Um, I, had, I had to sand down a little bit with the sanding paper just to get it smooth. So I'm going to use one of my uh, paints that I use with my 3D printing. I'm just gonna use it and paint the black around his eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and probably I'll go ahead and apply uh, new eyelashes as well. So let's get started.
And here we have Glenn finally finished with the eyes. Uh, it really took a lot of trial and error, guys. This was my first time and gluing the eyes was a pain. I was using super glue and a couple of times they fell and the super glue got, got all over them. So I had to clean them up, but I finally have him here. He looks great. I think he's definitely an improvement from what we had before, which was these eyes right here. Um, I love it. I'm very happy with the results. So now I'm just gonna put this cap on his head again and put the wig on. And here we have the final result, guys. As you see, the table is a mess. Uh, this took a little longer than I wanted it to, but it was my first time and I think it was so worth it. I think these eyes from Fort Seal Studios look impressive. They give the doll a totally different personality. He looks more sinister, he looks more mean, and I like that. I added a little bit of makeup, like you saw, and I also even added some new eyelashes to him which look amazing. He looks even better than out of the box. So if you guys are thinking about this, I really recommend it. Just take your time, be safe. Uh, make sure that you cut things smoothly so that you don't have any rough edges when you're done. And this is the result you can get. Thank you for watching tonight's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. And remember, if you like the content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Until the next one, bye-bye.